Chapter 12. The Staging Area When we think about how data is stored in Git, there are essentially three things that come into play. At the lowest level, we have the file system. At the end of the day, Git is just a bunch of files on disk and all it does is write to those files. When Git refers to our own data on disk, not its internal metadata, but the files and folders we are looking to keep track of, Git will refer to this as the working directory. So when you see that, just think, oh right, the files on my disk right now. At the top level, we have the index, which is just another word for the DAG or graph in which Git keeps track of its data. In between those two sits the staging area. This is where Git stores and prepares data before adding it to our graph. As we saw in the previous chapter, each time we use the git add command, Git writes our data. Specifically, it takes the data on disk and copies it to the staging area. It will remain there until we commit it, just like git add is the only way to move data from disk to the staging area, git commit is the only way to move data in the staging area permanently onto the index, which is the DAG or Git's graph. Understanding how data moves between these layers is crucial to understanding Git. For example, what if we add a file to the staging area with git add, and then, after adding the file, we make a change to it? What will happen? If you can guess, great. If not, let's try it out. Let's run git status again before we do anything to make it easy to compare. Git tells us that we're on branch main, that there are no commits yet, and that there are changes to be committed, specifically a new file named hello.md. Now let's open hello.md and add some more text to it. Let's change the line that says, hello git to hello git, how are you? After saving the file, we run git status again. This time, git tells us that we're on branch main still, and that there's no commits yet. It also reminds us that the hello.md file is staged to be committed, but in addition, it now tells us that there are changes that are not staged for commit, changes to the hello.md file. So to recap, when we make changes to a file in our working directory, Git will notice this. If we add this file with git add, Git will copy our file to the staging area. If we then make further changes, Git will notice that the file in our working directory has changed again and will once again inform us about it. However, the version of the file that we added with git add earlier is still in the staging area. By now, you should have learned how git add is how to tell Git to write our data to the staging area. But that's only half of the work. To make sure our data is added to the DAG, we need to commit, which is what we'll do in the next chapter.